You don't give a bleep. Well, let's continue. Let's continue with the article. She says, quote, there is nothing delicious about hoping that you give a bleep or having to play it cool because I do give a bleep. So she lets us know again that she's been passed around by bad boys by the dozen. I want to go on dates, she continues. Yes, dates, not hangouts. That distinction is important because a hangout could mean that we are going to walk around a mall like we did at 14 when our moms were only our, me- were, were our only means of transportation. A hangout implies that we're bros. I have enough friends, sir. No, thank you. You know, demanding dates seems to be a growing trend among today's banana gobblers. They're becoming more and more vocal about their desire to be wined and dined. I saw a meme posted uh, by a female uh, a few days ago that said, can we go back to guys holding doors, pulling out chairs, and holding hands because they like you? And my response to that is, is when the hell did you ever give guys like this the time of day in the first place? How can you go back to something you clearly didn't like based on your actions before? Today's women acting like they would reward gentlemanly behavior with their bodies, their attention, and their loyalty. That's like a man saying that he would marry a woman who cheated on him every week of their relationship. Requiring dates? That is simply a ploy that women use for a couple of reasons. Number one, to make men think that they are quality women. And number two, to get free meals. Red pill aware or not, dudes are starting to figure out that they don't have to take girls out to get easy sex out of them. And women don't like it. They don't like to figure this out. They don't like that their code's been cracked. They don't like that we already know that they're going to give it up anyway, so we act accordingly and refuse to buy what we can get for nothing. This is where the law of supply and demand has come back to bite women in their collective ass. Pun may or may not be intended, depending upon what you're into. I'm not judging. Not judging. (laughs) Anyway, because there's such an abundance of easy sex available to men these days, this makes the commodity of sex a lot less valuable. And of course, the less valuable something is, the less people are willing to pay for it. This is simple math. But this is what women wanted. They wanted sexual freedom, and they got it. But the unintended consequence is that the sexual liberation, what that's done is that's created a market that is completely saturated with females who don't require anything, much less a date, to give it up. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. This post-wall female who gave her body to hordes of men for next to nothing when she was in her 20, which, by the way, was the time she should have and could have required more, now wants men to take her on dates before she sleeps with them? She wants men to pay more for something less valuable when she gave something more valuable away for free? Dude, get the hell out of here with that. Men ain't paying for something that everybody's already gotten for free. So here is lesson number two, and this one's for the ladies. Ladies, if you want men to take you on dates, then stop sleeping with men before they take you on dates. Understand this, ladies. Wanting to have sex doesn't make you a banana gobbler. Being horny doesn't make you a cucumber connoisseur. Getting aroused by a guy doesn't make you an eggplant enthusiast. But acting on your sexual desires every time you get the itch does. It's not a sin to want to have sex. You're human. It happens. It's how you're designed. But not showing temperance in the face of temptation every single time does not make you deserving of dates. It makes you deserving of something else that starts with the letter D. 